Okay, hello everybody. Um, Daniel's Worlds here. Um, in anticipation for Fallout 4, um, and going a little bit against the curve, most people are playing through Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas again um, to prepare for Fallout 4. I played through Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas probably five and three times respectively. And I actually just finished a playthrough again uh, with all the DLC. I've never actually played through New Vegas with all the DLC before and I actually just finished a playthrough with all the DLC on New Vegas. So I decided that rather than playing through those again, I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to do Fallout 2. Um, I could go back to the beginning and do Fallout 1. But, um, I think Fallout 2 is just in a general better game. Um, more to do, more things, more, uh, more, more interesting gameplay, more sort of exciting stuff to do, and, uh, a less difficult game. The, the skill cap is a little bit lower. Not, not a lot. It's still very difficult. It is in, in the end, basically just a pen and paper RPG. Um, but it is not quite as difficult, and so I'm more likely not to be absolutely terrible. Um, so, we're gonna get into this, and we're going to play Fallout 2. I did start a game, um, a little while ago, but, um, the audio got messed up, and so I'm, rather than trying to re-record and splice in the old footage or make the old footage work, I'm just going to start over. Um, so, here we go. We're going to go with new game, and we're going to make a custom character. There's yelling in the other room. So, we're going to go over character. We're going to make him male. We will age him up a little bit. Um, name. Because my full name does not fit in there. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to go over is traits. Because traits seem to be the thing that most people are conflicted on when it comes to Fallout 2. Everybody seem most people seem to love Gifted. Um, increases all of your base stats by 1. But you lose 10% in all of these. Um, and you receive five less skill points per level. That, for me, is not a good trade-off. Um, if it was just the one points or ten percent, that would be fine. But, because we have the five less points a level, you can't really compensate. Yes, your strength is higher, your endurance is higher, everything is higher, everything is bigger, you're much more powerful early game, but I found that once you get into the later game, um, having all this max out speech, skill, guns, and everything, um, makes a little bit more of a difference late game. Um, that's just me. Some people don't feel that way, and that's fine. So, what we're going to do is I'm not going to go with Gifted. Um, you can complain about it, that's your choice. Um, We're going to take Bloody Mess just because it's it's entertaining. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I think I'm going to start out with Unarmed because it helps me get through the early game a lot better. Um, it really does help you get through the early game a lot better. Early game is a struggle without Unarmed still. Um, because you are hitting things for so much of the early game. You don't even get guns until you get pretty far into the second town. Um, so, and ammo is really limited, so I'm just going to go for unarmed pretty early on. Um, I think we're going to go speech. And barter. It's either barter or lockpick. Or first aid. Those are sort of the ones that are are the big one. I think I'm gonna go with barter just because I want to have some money early. I want to be able to sell my things for more. I want to be able to get stuff cheaper. Um, get get powerful as I can early so that I can not have to struggle. Because if I'm forced to struggle early game, 
Um, it's going to get very difficult, and I don't want to die a lot. Um, I'm going to go one strength. Uh, um, endurance. Luck will be fine. I think that's fine. Pretty well rounded in general. I think we'll go with this one. And I'll say we can't change our race. That's sadly not a thing. We'll go. Come in, chosen one. There are things you must know. The village is dying. The signs are everywhere. Withering crops. Dying Brahmin. Cows. Sick children. Those creepy children. There is hope, however. A slim hope. That few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. This will be your quest, if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. That is one thing about this game. The characters in the cutscenes in the animation. Super uncanny valley. For being 17 years old, those cutscenes are not bad. Like, that is not bad for being a smaller development studio working on 17 year old tech. Still super creepy though. <laughs> Still super duper creepy. Um, so now that we're past the um, cutscenes and opening intro, I am actually going to put on music here. Um, the music is um, going to be. Spit. I'll probably turn it off if I get into cutscenes or whatever. If there's anything where we need to really hear, but um, I don't think that's huge deal right now, so we're just going to let the music go, just fill the background space. Ant. Matt me, Brosif. Punch. Oh. You're going to explore the entirety of this first floor, uh, the, the tutorial level. Just because it does give you a pretty decent amount of XP for doing so. Punch. And that's why we went with our unarmed early. Because now our chance to hit unarmed hit is higher. And we're pretty much two-shotting everything in. Uh, anything in this? I don't remember. Sure, I'll take some healing powder. Okay. Poison, that sucks. Stay a little bit. Punch. Punched. Then combat. 
We will search the scorpion because their tails can sell for a bit. Hello, Mr. Scorpion. Punch. Punched. Ooh, got a crit. The poison kind of sucks, because it means even though I really haven't taken much damage in combat yet, I'm still getting hurt. Not a lot, but it is. It's enough. Let's take all the things, get all the things and the things when we things. We'll sell all of those in town. Door appears to be locked. I'll pick. Open sesame. Sadly, most of them are not that easy. Um, there is a puzzle here. We're just going to ignore it. <laughs> there is technically a puzzle there. I don't. Puzzle. Search. That worked out. That's me. Killing powder. Big hole in the ground. Can I punch this now? No. Can't punch. Not a punchable. Nobody is safe from my punches of justice. Nobody is safe from justice punch. Oh, I do need to go back and loot this, because that's where this people. Punch. Punch. Run. Oh, failed. Come on, get punched. There we go. Okay. We have, uh, we have fairly punched. We have some alcohol. Alright, we'll go back and pick D4. And... D4. Sure. And run. And away. Okay. Let's go hide over in this one. A character from Fallout 1 actually founded this tribe, created this tribe, and his jumpsuit, the vault suit, is the one thing they have left from him, sort of. Um but yeah, that vault jumpsuit is a direct connection to the first Fallout game. So.
hate how much health these things have. These things have so much health. Like, silly amounts of health. Like, there's no reason for them to have this much health. Dumb. I'm gonna go and turn off the background music for Fallout, actually. You and also, I mix the Brock flower with the Xander root together whenever you bring both to me. May your pathways be true and your heart follow suit. Oh, I can probably actually level up now. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put a few points in the first aid. Take just unarmed up to 80. Harder. 